Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to remove the restrictor pill located inside vacuum line 1 with the yellow dot on it, shown on our goodcobtuning.com website here, thanks to them. Here's the solenoid. This line snakes under and goes to your turbo and your wastegate. On them they have these little clamps. I like to get at them with some needle nose pliers and you can just kind of spread them out. And then you can slip them off the hose. And then they go flying, like usual. So be careful of that. Here's a shot of the vacuum line we will be removing. Now once you have those clamps moved aside, it's good practice to spray it with some WD-40 and just reach in there and try and give it a good twist. Press it gently with some needle nose pliers and just twist it a little. It'll break free whatever kind of corrosion is on it. Once those little clamps are aside, remove it from the turbo, remembering which way the vacuum line went in. Remove it from the wastegate and you should have your T. The turbo side is going to be the one with the very small pill inside of it. You can see it lumped in there. So your pill is in that little lump. Now you, you want to be really careful when you take it out not to damage this hose. This hose has a special lining inside for the oil. So you just want to make sure that's nice and clean. Clean inside the hose, clean this whole this whole tee off. When you reinsert this, you want to be really careful that it doesn't get lodged sideways inside like that. You want to make sure that you can shine a flashlight in there and that it is perfectly inside there straight like that so you can see through it because it needs to breathe through it. And that's what will give you your your stock boost. So if you're if you're not hitting stock boost or if you're at the wastegate boost, then this could be a problem for you. Once you've got them twisted, you can just remove them. This, this is gratifying right here. <laughs>